Hello, everybody. Mike Maurer, Executive Director, Chief Instructor for SUU Aviation. And uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be the cheerleader for really what is the greatest school and greatest group of people that I've ever worked for. So I'm from Riverton, Wyoming, right in the geographic center of that wonderful state. I first, uh, first wanted to become a pilot when I was a really young boy. Uh, just, you know, I think as, as everybody, everybody does. And looked up in the air and saw things flying around, said, I want to be doing that. So I started flying helicopters after, uh, after I left the Air Force. And I, helicopters just really appealed to me because of the mission that they, they, uh, they do and the mission they perform. It's very different than airplanes. The other, the other big factor is, is uh, my, my niece, my nephew, and, and my brother-in-law were all killed in, a, in an accident uh, several years ago. And, and the dream of my nephew was to become a helicopter pilot. And my sister and I, after she had gone through this just terrible tragedy, we had, uh, we had, we had talked about you know, how we could carry on the legacy. And, and both of us were actually looking for a, a career change at that point. And so we thought it'd be really, really neat way to not only carry on uh, my nephew's legacy, but also fulfill something that I'd always wanted to do. As I said before, I am the greatest cheerleader of this program. I, I, this just an amazing team. We've got over 100 full-time folks working for us. We offer night vision goggle. We offer external load. We offer turbine. Just everything you could possibly think of within, within the, uh, uh, the helicopter training world, we do that. And we've worked very closely with our partners to develop what is, uh, what is industry-relevant training. And we really take pride in that. And uh, the team just does an amazing job. We have, uh, over the years, we've accomplished some, some firsts. Uh, and, and one of those is we actually, uh, uh, through, our, through our partners, wrote, lobbied for, and finally were able to pass legislation that changed the uh, FAA regulations as they pertain to maintenance training. The additions that we have uh, for the uh, uh, for their for their helicopter program as well as the fixed wing program, it doesn't matter who you are, if you're a veteran, if you're a civilian, if you know whatever your background was, all of the training that we offer, everybody gets. It is all part of the degree. So whether you're uh, you know coming in from you know, from high school and you've never flown before, you're going to go through the exact same program as somebody that's coming in from, from the military. One of the other really big things that, that I'm proud of is uh, uh, probably our most recent addition, which is the Chuck Aaron Advanced Flight Academy at SUU. Of course, Chuck Aaron asks if you want to do something, you don't tell him no. So we, uh, we launched a program uh, where we, uh, we teach inadvertent uh, uh, instrument meteorological conditions and how to recover from that or the double IMC training and we're not teaching folks how to do aerobatics but we're in an aircraft that is capable of aerobatics so if if the students as they're trying to recover from from these conditions uh, in a in a training environment uh, if they happen to go a little too aggressive in the recovery procedures we're in an aircraft that is capable of going completely upside down and so we can safely teach them uh, uh, and, and increase that safety em envelope simply because the aircraft is capable of far more than the students will ever uh, ever do as part of that uh, double IMC training. So SUU Aviation started in 2013 and, and we started uh, really with just a very, very small program. We started with just 10 instructors, we had 30 students and three aircraft and only two mechanics. And in the years since we've started, we have grown to over 700 students. We've got 65 uh, flight instructors, over 130 full-time folks, 25 full-time mechanics, and and some of the, the best administrators that have ever been brought together in a, in a collegiate program. So having fun at work is really, really important to me, uh, but when it comes to, you know, back at the hangar and when we're just in our in our normal work environment, uh, we try to make things as, as light as possible, uh, to, you know, to account for the fact that everybody has a really stressful job. We get together for the holidays, we hang out, we joke, we laugh. Uh, one of my most favorite things to do is scare people. Uh, so, just a lot of fun. Most folks, when they're looking at aviation, uh, you know, they see their dream, they see that's something that they want to do, but it, it's it's expensive. There's no way around it. And the reason for that is, first off, the acquisition 
price of the aircraft. Their aircraft are expensive. And then we start looking at maintenance costs. And then the fuel. Aircraft are not as, as fuel efficient as your car. They burn a lot of gas. And of course that drives the cost up. When you're, when you're looking at a program, you've got to make sure that that program fits your needs, what you want to do. And, and there's a lot of good schools across the country, both collegiate uh, and private schools. It's really important that you go out, you check them out, spend the money, take, a, take an intro flight or a discovery flight, and really go and, and see if the culture matches what you're looking for, if it matches your personality. All right, everybody's uh, really concerned about uh, you know moving into the world of aviation, uh, you know, just coming out of this this most recent year. But one of the things that was was uh, really interesting is is demand. While it it did wane for a little bit, it never went away. Both Boeing and Airbus, who produce reports uh, that forecast uh, you know what the aviation world is going to need from a pilot standpoint, from a maintenance standpoint, cabin crew, all of these different things, their numbers went up. I can tell you. For the foreseeable future, aviation's not going anywhere. All right, so the future of SUU Aviation. What we're going to be doing now is really refining what we're offering, uh, working with our industry partners to to uh, develop courses that uh, that the industry wants. Our continued advocacy in D.C. Uh, we are we are staunch advocates for veterans benefits, and and we have fought and uh, defeated legislation for the last 10 years that sought to either eliminate veterans educational benefits or drastically change them. And I'll tell you right now that SUU is always out there fighting. One of the questions that uh, we always get asked are, you know, do, do I have that personality to be a pilot? You know, they are a little more on the type A side, but if you're a, if you're a type, type B or a little more passive, that doesn't mean you can't be a pilot. One of the really disappointing things, however, is how much emphasis has been put on, uh, you know, you've got to be a type A, you've got to be the strong, strong person. No, don't take it. And if you find an organization that promotes that, don't join it. Don't work for those individuals. One of the, uh, one of the most rewarding aspects of, of flying helicopters is, is also really the, the biggest reason that I got into it. It's the missions, the mission types. The mission type is very different than airplanes. Airplanes haul a lot of things, whether it's people or cargo, great distances really quick. Helicopters, gosh, we, we've got an operating radius of around 150 miles from wherever we're stationed. Uh, we can go longer, but now we've got to start doing fuel and some other things like that. So if you're uh, considering a career in aviation, make sure you do your research. Get out there, look at schools. There might be one really, really close to you that's just an amazing school. Um, but, uh, you know, we think that uh, SUU has some great opportunities, great offerings with the degrees, with the type of flight training that we have, uh, the maintenance training, first, in, first of its kind in the nation. Reach out to us, uh, chat with us. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know uh, your options, and, and, uh, and, you know, we're here to help. Thanks for uh, watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.